Hey, popcorn junkies! Look who I've got next to me. Look at my blue eyes. Your fellow popcorn junkies. My fellow One of popcorn, the most junkies. Of the popcorn One of the longest standing, longest serving popcorn junkies. Okay, so do you remember a film by Christopher Nolan called Tenet? Yes, I do. What did we think of Tenet? It was a mind fuck. <laughs> it was a bit of a well, like so my many of his films. My boyfriend Patrick loved it. Did he? And he on, on purpose to annoy me every time we sit down to watch a film. I'm like, oh, what should we watch? I want something really like laid back because yeah, I'm yeah. really just tired. And he's like, hmm, I could tell it. I'm like, I can't think of anything worse. He does make stressful films. He did Dunkirk, didn't he? Yeah. And, and uh, Inse 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 Inception. Yeah. That was a complete mind fuck. Yeah. Um, no, and, I enjoyed. And obviously, I think... he did the back, uh, the Dark Knight Rises and Dark Knight. Oh yeah. And all that sort of stuff. Them. I, yeah. Brilliant. No, I didn't hate Tenet, and I think we really enjoyed it because wasn't it the first film we saw in the cinema? It right? was in lockdown. Yeah, and like that first sequence, the music. Oh my was god, like, the first fifteen minutes, I think. Felt the bass in our oh, hearts. That was the best bit of cinema we'd seen in about two years. I just got confused by it, but it was an it was a, an enjoyable watch enough to. Yeah, I mean, it he's was, a master. It was very nice to look at. Yeah, and he's a master, Christopher Nolan. Obviously, yeah, he, he likes to film on celluloid. He doesn't like to film digitally. He like yeah. he likes the granular, organic feel of yeah, film. Yeah, yeah. And my see... boyfriend's incredibly smart, so he understood everything. And that's why he loved it. So. That's so lucky because I, I didn't see. Oh, no, we were like so. Yeah, really yeah we were so <laughs> unsmart that it was just embarrassing. <laughs> okay, well, his new film, a trailer has landed for his new film, and there's a lot of excitement about this because this is called Oppenheimer, and this is about the man who essentially split the atom and made it possible to create nuclear bombs that destroy the planet. Christopher Nolan does it. So Christopher Nolan, he, he doesn't go for small and subjects. It's Killian Murphy. Ki you're absolutely Murphy. right. Killian, well look at the cast. Killian Murphy. <gasps> Robert Downey Jr. Oh Florence God. Pugh. Oh my God. Jack Quaid from The Boys. Matt, Matt Damon, Damon. Emily Blunt. And Rami Malik. <laughs> <laughs> now, I have to say, one thing about Rami Malik that works in his favour, you can't take your eyes off him when he's on screen, but for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> it's like he's the oddest. He is a very actor. odd person he is but but enigmatic are you a rami fan anyway a heck of a cast list which always makes me worry because your voice comes into my head which is with that many stars how's it gonna hold together yeah because they usually can't control that many stars <laughs> can't control i think jack quaid would probably control but, christopher yeah. nolan though yeah christopher nolan but also like rob down jr florence Pugh, and killian murphy are like i feel like the good end of star yeah whereas emily blunt rami malik <laughs> i know sorry that was <laughs> no, no. a good too. <laughs> yeah don't worry i meant like i can't see them being too pro like Problematic. Problematic. I don't think it, look, it looks like a nice cast, actually. I, I'm so in love with, I was so in love with Killian Murphy and uh, oh. Peaky Blinders. And he was, and he was very good. Don't forget, he's Romeo. obviously. Pardon? <laughs> We're the Peaky Blinders. <laughs> oh, that's Cockney, isn't it? Peaky Blinders. I can't do a Brummie accent and Cockney. <laughs> okay, so this is Oppenheimer. This is quite literally going to be a trailer with a big bang in it. Ah. And it's obviously about, as I said, Oppenheimer, the scientist responsible for essentially taking the world to the edge of existence. Imagine a future, and our imaginings horrify us. It's different, doesn't it? You lost weight. Yeah. They won't fear it until they understand it. And he's gonna like this. And they won't understand it. so far.
uh, I don't see oh. Robert Downey Jr. or Florence Pyramid. No, I didn't know. I didn't see them at all. Oh. Yeah. Um, it's beautifully like shot as always. Quite abstract. Yeah, which we like. Which we like. It's all about chemistry, really, isn't it? It's about the periodic table, atoms, yes. and all that shit that Pearl Kiki is struggling <laughs> with at the moment. Um, but did you notice the way they put the date up at the end, and the sound effect for the date coming up was a Geiger counter. Ah. So clearly, a film about his mental, which we like. Clearly, gonna we? fuck my mind again. <laughs> yeah, and it's going to go interior. So we're going to get a top draw performance thing from Killian, um, and I wonder whether we're looking at Oscar contend contender here. Could very well be. And I like this music as well. And it's very hard in a sense because obviously it's building to the pressing of the button for the test. Yeah, yeah. And they can't show that in a trailer. Yeah. But they certainly got me excited. And they got me excited. Yeah. I don't think we've seen that in a sin. And as I say, I think Paddy will like it because he's a scientist. Yeah, he'll love it. He's excited. Yeah.